Wow. A pre-go computer manufacturer's website that doesn't look like it was a product of child labor? What a concept. This website looks so clean. I have really high hopes for... wait. Why does this computer have no GPU? Well, that must mean that all these computer parts are almost equal in price to the cost of the computer, right? That That's a no. Got it. Um, okay, well, not the best start to this video. While we ruin another chance of getting a sponsorship in the future, let's look at some of the other parts of their website and see if this was just a fluke. The best place to start would be, well, their starter PCs. The first thing we noticed was their very original way they label their builds. For instance, a starter pro PC. That's interesting. The next thing that we noticed was the price of their so-called starter PCs. To the best of my knowledge, a $1,100 computer is not a starter PC price. Starter PCs should be no more than $800. The fact they're trying to sell this expensive of a computer as a starting point in your PC journey is almost laughable. We compared their starter PC to a $1,000 build that we made. It was no surprise that our build absolutely destroyed it. Wherever you look in this build, our parts are either equal or stronger, and our build costs $50 less. When you look a little closer, the biggest difference is the GPU. We know that the RX 6600 is not the most appealing card on the market, but when we tell you that it outperforms the RTX 3050 by an average of around 23% and costs the same amount, the RX 6600 starts to become a lot more appealing. With that mind-bending revelation, we can move on to the build kits. For a fair comparison, we are going to be comparing the price of the NZXT build kits with the ones from LightPC. Like we said in our LightPC scam video, the build kits are a great idea in theory. They allow the people to skip the long process of picking their parts for the build and let the customer focus on only building the system itself. But the premium you need to pay for them to pick out the parts for you is extremely unreasonable. These companies usually charge $100 to $200 to basically just give you the parts list and order it for you. Meanwhile, in the comments of our videos, we apparently do that for free. So either they're charging money for something that they shouldn't be, or we are owed a lot of money. But they are a business and they need to make a profit. So let's look into which one of them is shaking you down for more of your hard-earned money. First, NZXT Starter Pro Build Kit. Yes, we're back to the brilliant naming scheme this company chose. Their build highlights parts like the i5-10400 and the 3060Ti, along with a bunch of reasonably strong parts to go with it. There's two major issues I have with these build kits. First off, why are they forcing you on a dead 10th gen platform as well as locking you in with only 500 watts of headroom for future upgrades, when even Nvidia's website recommends a 600 watt power supply for the 3060Ti? The Light PC Beta Build Kit is next. Their build sports a Ryzen 5 5600G and a GTX 1660. As well as NZXT, they surround the main components of this build with decent parts. Although Light did improve the power supply by 50 watts compared to NZXT, it's not still nearly enough of a big jump in wattage to make a reasonable difference, but putting them both against each other, it's pretty clear that NZXT is the winner. However, we do realize that the NZXT build is much more expensive, so it should always win. But $200 more for a 3060 Ti with over double the FPS of a 1660 seems very fair even with the worst CPU. Now, after their build kits, the next section we're going to be going over is their streaming PCs. The build itself is fairly strong. The RTX 3070 along with the Ryzen 5 5600X will be able to handle streaming for almost any game at 1440p. The price of the computer is where the NZXT runs into a problem. The difference of building it yourself is almost $300, it's not even close to being worth it. With this big of a price difference, it would definitely be worth more to learn how to build a computer yourself. NZXT, similar to all the other pre-built manufacturers we have gone over, fails to make a reasonably priced PC. If the difference between building it yourself and these computers were around $100, you'd be able to justify buying the pre-built, but they're very greedy with their profits. Also, with any of these pre-built computers, we need to keep in mind that they get their parts cheaper than we can on the consumer market, which only tells us that they make a crazy amount of money on something that you can learn to do yourself. If you enjoyed, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for future content.